My name is Ruben Löwy. I teach in an independent school in Princeton, New Jersey. And about four years ago, I was teaching a media and journalism class to middle school students. And it struck me then that their knowledge of the internet, which is the main source for news for these students today, uh, remains a, an unknown world to them. Their knowledge of the internet really stops with the screen. They're very app savvy and they give an impression of being technologically adept, but their knowledge of the actual internet is minimal. And I believe this is a, a real danger that makes them very vulnerable to all the things that we're seeing online, whether it's fake news or exploitation in other ways. My goal uh, is really to educate my students to be empowered, knowledgeable and critical users of the internet. And for that, they, it, they require educating. At the moment, they're not receiving this education in schools, not in the USA, uh, not in Europe and not in other countries either. What we're teaching our youth today is really not what not to do online. So all the dangers and the pitfalls, but not so much about the opportunities. And I think much of this lies in a misperception of youth um, who have been labeled digital natives because they're born in a digital era. Uh, but being born in a digital era doesn't inherently give you any knowledge about the digital world. This is something that has to be learned and it's our uh, professional and moral obligation, I believe, as teachers to impart this knowledge. So we hear a lot about the, the dangers of being online and the mistakes that kids make when they um, either share inappropriate material online or they access fake news and they're not able to discern whether it's fake or real. Now these are mistakes that adults make as well and I find that we, we really need to increase our digital literacy which is understanding how to operate in the medium that is new and strange and changing rapidly all the time. So students need to become critical users of the internet to be able to filter, to be filters of what is good and what is bad, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate, what is good quality and what is poor quality material that they find online, because there aren't many people there to do it for them. Uh, and it's crucial in their lives, both as students and as uh, active social media users. And for that purpose, I set up a nonprofit called Living Online Lab. And we have developed a curriculum that has a holistic approach to the internet teaching uh, some technology, what the internet is and how it works, but much more focuses on our interaction as human beings with the digital world um, and teaches us really what makes the internet operate and how it influences us as human beings and how we can interact with it in a positive manner. Uh, this is now taught to over 30,000 students in the US and the number is growing rapidly. And students, I found, absolutely relish the opportunity to both study and discuss what they're experiencing online. Uh, as a teacher, I absolutely enjoy uh, seeing this and having many interesting discussions about everything from cyber ethics to the psychology of the internet. <laughs>